Hello, my name is Matt Cawson, and this is a piece that I did for the seventh uh, round of Drawn and Quartered on Blacklist Universe, Mike Miller's channel. Uh, I'm actually kind of adding a little more de details into it. I kind of took a little too long in trying to come up with a concept, and so like I just spent a lot of time penciling, finally just decided to go straight in with ink and I just spot blacked a lot of the shadows and everything so now I'm just kind of adding in some uh, details, reflective light, like lighting uh, on the muscles, kind of help define them a little bit better but uh, yeah it was a fun experience the first time on there and uh, they gave me a chance Mike gave me a chance to be on there also to help promote a Indiegogo that we're doing, uh, I'm doing with James Hudnall, writer James Hudnall, is an award-winning author, worked for Marvel and DC, and he's uh, he's written a really good uh, superhero comic book that's different than uh, the other stuff he's done, and it is called Agenda, and it's called Agenda, the Kickstarter, not the Kickstarter, but the Indiegogo, it's called Agenda superheroes with a purpose so if you want to go check that out uh, we just started it up about two days ago so we've so far we've made about 42% uh, 42% of our goal and we have 3,372 dollars but we need a lot more and we would just appreciate any help uh, you give us so you can check it out see what you think and if you want to support our project we really appreciate it we got some good rewards uh, for um, people for pledges uh, people giving us uh, donations I, I don't know if you call it pledges or don donations I don't know but we have some t-shirts available posters uh, we have an alternate cover that I'm actually still working on and yeah so please check that out and when I was doing this piece I wanted to actually add in some zip tone I was thinking some gray tone because the the contest rules if you're not familiar with that drawn and quartered that Mike Miller's uh, blacklist universe channel it's the rules are black and white at least so far so it's I was thinking of using some gray tone I because some guys do a uh, digital work and they're I think digital is great because it does speed up process because I mean you can like for these areas I could just outline it in black and then just paint bucket boom filled in black but then if you use a paintbrush it's going to take you know considerable amount more time on filling in the black space but I don't know I, I just like the feeling of getting ink all over my hand and then on my clothes <laughs> no but I, I do like inking um, on paper just something about the feel of you know, it's it's just it's a little bit more control. I mean, with digital, I think the problem with me is is that you can actually uh, you have too many options where you can alter the art. You can just undo and delete layers, and it just to me it actually slows me down more because I can. There's too many options for me. And when you do it on paper, it's like you just you got to do it, and that's it. The outcome is the outcome. And plus, it, it kind of makes me think creatively on what I need to do to kind of cheat my way and to get the effect that I want. I mean, it's not cheating, it's just, I don't know, it's personal technique or... But I just kind of like, just the whole idea of just throwing ink down. I could just, don't have to plug anything in. I don't have to update software or apps. So it just, to me, it's... It's instant, and plus, like I said, you can sell the original pieces if you want to later on. But uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a glimpse here of the agenda. Agenda art, if you haven't already seen it, it was also on uh, Comic Book Pro. 
comic. Ah, can't remember the name of it now. Comic book artist pro tips channel. Ethan is actually giving us a promotion for this too as well. He's gracious enough to do that. But here is the agenda. Here's one of the covers. Painted cover I did with acrylics and some. This is a promo piece right here. Which, let's see, I have a full version. Here we go. And these are some of the main characters. And I'm not sure if I can, uh, if I'm allowed to give too much information away yet. So, uh, as for the good guys, the bad guys. James is writing it so that each character has their own agenda, hence the title. But they have their own agenda and they have a particular view, each uh, unique to them, their own persuasion, I guess, that they feel the world needs to change in specific areas. So they uh, do their best to help change. And that, that uh, basically just starts a cascade of problems or conflicts with other characters agendas and not to mention like world leaders and governments and political movements and all that so it's not uh, it's not a political in that we adhere to just a one single drumbeat I guess you could say we kind of just leave it up to the readers James is gonna leave it up to the readers to decide which characters are doing the right thing And if you go to James, James Hudnell, he has his own YouTube channel too, and he can better explain the story. At least he can verbalize it a lot better than I can. I'm more of a visual guy, but this is my try at my first hand at doing a YouTube video like this. But here's some of the page art you can check out on the Indiegogo. And the title again here, I'll go right up to the see agenda superheroes with a purpose and we're at 42 percent of our flexible goal and different up uh, different perks we have like I said you get uh, multiple copies of the book actual printed book I believe we have digital copies on there too and then we have the uh, t-shirts available Right now we got one design, but we're gonna have some more coming. Different options. I like the titles James come up with the uh, atomic agenda, perk, nuclear agenda. But yeah, pretty simple name to remember. And our agenda here is just to tell good stories. We want, we want to really just tell something that not only has a meaning to it but just entertains kind of brings back that excitement that you once had as a kid looking into comic books like Marvel or DC and just kind of it's like an escapism escapism but just fun fun characters with like I said meaning to it so it's not just all candy or sugar But yeah, I'm going to try to do some more videos. I want to do live, but YouTube requires you you put the phone number in your account to do a live video, which I think is stupid. And I'm, I'm one of those guys who I don't like technology where they, I think they're too invasive as it is. And I'm just, I don't like it when they want all my information, phone numbers, contacts, and all that stuff. So I don't know, I might break down and do it. But uh, let's see. Also... I'm gonna put this one aside because I'm pretty much done. I'll probably add some zipatone in a little bit later. Let's see. But uh, I I've, I've been also trying to do some Etobers. I'm not like really uh, haven't been really consistent with it because I've been working on the book. But I've been I have another character that I created on my own called Agent Orange and uh, she's a character she's kind of like a 
like a secret agent. Um, but not really. She's really she investigates. She has books about an organization that investigates um, weird phenomena around the world, and so she sets out to kind of investigate. And if it's some something that's a threat to our world, then she confronts it or eliminates it. And uh, yeah, for my Inktober, I was using mostly. I wanted to use more Zipatone or Graytone, but this stuff is expensive, and I'm kind of trying to save it from actual comic book work. Let's see. Here's a penciled one. I'm just kind of doing two per panel. So, like I said, I'm behind, so I think this is like 12, day 12 or 13 or 14. 